Good morning. Um, hope you can hear me. Uh, so today I'm going to be walking up to and around Care Caradoc. My car's parked down there. I hope it's okay there. It's in the lay-by. Uh, and uh, I'm just walking up the road. We're near uh, Church Stretton. Just walking up the road uh, to find uh, a footpath. It should be on the right soon. And that should take me up to Care Caradoc, and then there's like a circular walk around the top. Uh, it's about seven. Ah, this looks like it. It's about seven thirty. Uh, I was planning on doing stiper stones and then coming and doing this, but uh, I think trying to do two in one day is a bit too much. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do Care Caradoc. Uh, Really nice day for it. It's probably one of the last. It's cold at the moment. It's pretty pretty nippy, but um, it's probably going to be one of the last nice days for walking. Certainly before we hit autumn, anyway. So uh, just trying to make the most of it. So see you in a bit. So it looks like we basically follow uh, the Shropshire Way from from the road uh, all the way up to the top of uh, Care Caradoc. It's uh, been quite steep already, but uh, I think it's going to get a lot steeper now as we head up to the top. So yeah, short, short sharp climb to Care Caradoc. Perfect day for it though. So after that last uh after that last bit of video there is there is that steep bit that you could see and you can go straight up it like I did but uh it is possible to slip so you could sort of there are alternative paths that people have made that you can sort of zigzag up zigzag up uh it's not too bad it doesn't last very long and then you get to the top you turn left i think you can go right but you turn left uh follow this path and this is sort of part of a circular path that will take us up onto the top at some point i can't get this camera to actually because it keeps automatically centering it's hard to it's hard to get it to look up to the top of the uh, hill but um but the top of care caradoc is up there somewhere uh, yeah so so this bit's this bit's fairly straightforward nice and flat now at some point there'll be a path on the right leading up to the top so we're just coming up to the turn off this turn off on the right should take us up to up to the top and that looks about right I think, I think you can carry on down there, or maybe go up a different way, but I'm not going to take any chances, I'm going to go up this way, and once we're at the top we'll see, uh, see where we go from there.
So that up there is Care Caradoc. I um, I got up to the top just before just before you sort of start climbing up to that peak, to the top of this hill in front. Um, but I decided to come down this way, and I'm now on top of Little Caradoc, which is a small hill, unsurprisingly, next to uh, next to Care Caradoc. Uh, and if you carried on, you'd basically go back down into the valley and then up onto uh, the Lawley, which is that, that hill over there. It's quite a long hill, uh, which goes off in that direction. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's warming up a bit. Even up here, it's uh, not, not too cold now. Uh, so I'm going to have a quick, quick break on top of, uh, on top of Little Caradoc, and then I'm going to head on up to Care Caradoc. I've only done I've only done 1.5 miles actually since the car, so it is um, it is very quick to get up here if you uh, if you wanted if you had uh, if you didn't have a lot of time to do it in. You can park up in the by and be up here in about half an hour, 40 minutes. It's really nice on a day like this. Glorious. So I'm back onto the back onto the footpath, uh, the trail, and now heading up to the top of Care Caradoc. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't seen anyone else around, but uh, it is a Friday morning, so quite early. So I think I've got it to myself. Getting steep now. Very steep. To uh, anywhere. Oh, that last that last section was quite steep. Uh, uh, thankfully, it's not going to last too much longer. By the look of it. So this isn't the absolute top of Cape Caradoc, although we're nearly there. But uh, this would make this looks like it would make a really good place to camp. Obviously, providing the conditions weren't too bad, but you've got a good you've got a good sort of hollow here where you'd be protected by wind from uh, 
these two sides it's more or less flat it's a bit bumpy but it's uh not too bad but i mean it's a great view to wake up to fantastic i think this is pretty much as high as you can get on Kea Caradoc. uh slightly up from where i was before uh good all-round views. We're going to go and have a walk over there, see if there's a good view down to uh, Church Strip. It's uh, yeah, very windy, but uh, very nice conditions. path I was going to follow sort of went down and around uh, the left side there and then sort of curved around the front down the bottom so that I'd end up going back to the car but uh, I thought I'd just carry on walking along the top of the ridge it just seemed a bit more interesting in keeping the views but at some point I've got to drop down curve around to the right and then walk around the bottom of Kea Caradoc back to where I started so it shouldn't be too far really I mean in total it'll probably only be about four miles but uh, yeah nice little walk there really nice <coughs> So I'm just coming off the trail that goes around Kea Caradoc now and I'm heading back down the field I came up earlier. Uh, so not far now, uh, about another half mile back to the car, if that. So I'm back, back at the car now. Um, in total, it was only about uh, four and a half miles. Um, to sort of walk up to, uh, onto Kea Caradoc and then along the sort of ridge um, and down to the end, and sort of loop back around the bottom. Um, and I did do a little Caradoc as well. Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, it's quite good in that, um, uh, like I said before, if you haven't got a lot of time, you can just sort of drive here, park, and then, you know, in a couple of hours, you can have been up onto Kea Caradoc and down. We could spend some time up there. Um, but it's a nice, it's a nice hill. Uh, really great views. Um, yeah, great. Also a good alternative if you've done the Long Mind, you want something else that's quite local to walk. So definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. Now it's time to get some coffee. <laughs> See you soon.